channel. I am laid way back in name and in practice. All right, boys. So I think it's pretty easy to say who the top character is going to be. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure we all know. I'm sure we all know. You can't possibly not know if you are a player of Grand Blue. Is our first is going to be where is oh, no. <laughs> Near's not being to you. <laughs> Near. Why is she the strongest? Because uh she can easily go to combos off of her 2M which goes far and it's a pretty easy, you don't even have to confirm it, you just kind of throw it out there and get your big damage. Jita, <laughs> no, not Jita. <laughs> and freaking, um, she can even combo off of grab. She has all sorts of left, right mix ups, some high, low mix ups. She kind of has it all. She has it all, man. And at this point, most people know that she's the strongest character around. And uh, most are expecting nerfs. We don't know if they will come. We don't know. But we'll see. Time will tell. But yeah, that's who I got for number one. And nobody should really be surprised by that. Now for number two. I almost put him at number three, but we got Siegfried Rice. Now Siegfried, his buttons are phenomenal. Great 66L. Kind of like Nier. Like they both have stupidly good 66Ls. And all his buttons is kind of chained together perfectly so he can kind of put you in like this infinite block string. And if you don't have a DP, you're just really stuck it, stuck in it. And it's really easy for him to get these things because he can throw out his, his stupidly large fireball, run behind it, and then proceed to put you through this, uh, this button hell. And uh, yeah, he got great damage combo, uh, great damage in the combo. I'm not sure if he still has his uh, setup for his unblockable, but he probably does, and it's kind of hard to avoid that. So yeah, man. And his button, mostly his 2M, bro. That button is, it goes so far. This man has some stupid long legs, and then he'll go and he'll hit you with his uh, his little overhead swing. And it, it is just really strong. It's an overall just perfect Shoto, man. And also his DP has a great range. Does great damage. I mean, I guess it has, does regular damage, but it goes really far. So you can never have to really worry about whiffing it. I mean, the dude just has, he, he has it all, bro. He is the, the Shota from hell. Now, next. Next is, we just got to find him. I know exactly what I want next. Is Seox. Now, Seox. I, I think the only really bad thing, or you, you it could arguably be not bad, is him having a parry instead of a DP. But it's not the easiest to punish, you know, because he could throw it out and then you could just easily miss the window. But it's just better to have a hit DP as opposed to a parry. But the dude has no problems opening you up, opening you up, no problems whatsoever. He could just kind of do a light and just run up on you and do a light again. So. Or just go light into heavy, same as everybody else. But he also has like, I say like what, two, two, no, maybe three different throw baits. He has a pretty easy time like baiting your throws, which makes his strike throw situation a lot easier. So let's say he misses his, he misses his throw bait where he does a little hoppity thing and shoots the projectile at you. Let's say you block that. It's still his turn. And then he can still keep jabbing at you, jabbing at you, trying to open you up. And he can do a second one after that if he has the meter. And also, he can just kind of throw out random things in, in, in neutral. And it's like, he'll just catch you and then like get his turn back and get his damage and everything. He can, he's the character who can just throw out random things and it'll catch you. And then he'll just be in a good place, man. It's, it's, I can't stand this character. <laughs> I can't stand this character. Probably the most, maybe second most. I I, I think Nier upsets me more, but uh, yeah, Catboy, Catboy is a beast. The the strike throw game is just way too good, and he can kind of catch you just by doing doing random things like, like the move where he hops off the wall. If he thinks he's you're gonna grab him, he can do that instead, and now you're the one getting comboed instead of him getting grabbed. Sure, I may be a little biased because I play 2B and it's like a great pick for against 2B. 
because like he could do something while I'm hitting my buttons and it could like really end up bad for me. But I don't think many would argue that he's a very strong character. So I'm putting him at number three. Next. We have Lancelot. The man is the god of mixing you up. <laughs> maybe, maybe Seox might. I, I think Seox is probably better at it since he has the the throw baits and all. But you know, Lancelot has the side switches, and he can with, through the fireball. He can really put a lot of a lot of pressure on you, and maybe make you make a, a false move by doing his little dash and going up to you and then dashing backwards, or maybe even going on the other side of you. And also, there's that setup where he throws the fireball at you, and then he can do the thing where he comes from above, and you can't block that in the air. So you're kind of forced to block the, the projectile. So he can just do that for free because the projectile will still be hitting you as he falls down. So it's kind of like a forced pressure type deal. And then, you know, he has his, uh, his, the one that can slow you down, that projectile. The dude has like so many tools, man. And like, I think the, the one of the best things that he can do is like his side switch, his side switching. So if you ever get him in the corner, he can hop off the wall and proceed to combo you. And it's not always the easiest thing to catch because he can jump off the wall in two different ways. And also, if he's comboing you on the ground, he can use his, his one of his ultimate moves, which will put him on the other side of you, and also has a lot of wall carry because he'll start with a 6-6-L, and then proceed to do a heavy, and then do his little dash stabby attack at you and knock you against the wall, so he can switch you, he can switch, he, he basically, if you have him in the corner, he can easily turn things around on you, and I say that's like his best feature. But the, the, the character is definitely strong. Stupidly strong. Okay. Now next. <laughs> you guys might not agree with me. Might not agree with me here. But the next we have is Jeter. Jeter is just... I'm going to stop calling Jeter. Jeter <laughs> is just so perfectly well-rounded, man. She really doesn't have any bad matchups. And that, I think that might be her strongest thing. She just has so many situations that she could just get you to a combo because of her absurd corner carry. And she also gets good damage. And, and her ultimate skills. Her ultimate skills are crazy good. They're crazy good. So like the, the ultimate projectile, it could kind of be used as a, something as a throw bait in a sense. Because if you try to grab her when she's close, you're going to get hit. If you try to hit her while you're close, you're gonna get hit. If you try to jump, it's gonna it's gonna keep you in the corner. It's like no reason to uh, to not throw it out in the corner, man. Or she could run up to you, dash back, and do her 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 ultimate uh, thing, where she hits you a bunch of times and then hits you for a combo that does like damn near fifty percent, or yeah, somewhere around fifty percent. So she she has damage. She has great neutral. Nobody just really beats Jita. If you are a good player at this game, and all you play is Jita, you will find success. It's kind of hard not to. She has no really. She doesn't really have any clear weaknesses, man. And it's just kind of all good. <laughs> and uh, next, next we have. As soon as I find them. Beatrice. Now Beatrice is kinda like Jita. Kinda like Jita. I will say I will say. I will say. I know nothing. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I, I I know people might disagree with this. But her ability to keep you in the corner. Is, <laughs> guys, stop. Her ability to keep you in the corner is so strong. Because she has such long range normals. Not her mediums. But her, her heavy and her anti-air is really good and her lights as well. And let's say her thing where she slides along the ground is on cooldown where the thing where she kicks up with the knee first, she can use that to get you towards the corner and then do a projectile EX and then proceed. And by then, the thing where she slides around the, the ground is already off cooldown. So it's really hard for her, even if she has multiple things on cooldown, it's really hard for her to not get her full her full corner combo. Because so many things, uh, the, the two moves carry you. And, you know, basically she's, she's kind of like Jita in a sense. And like a, a big thing that people discount 
is that command grab. Now look at like the speed of every character, right? She has a pretty normal speed. She's not slow or anything, but she can run up to you and command grab you. Sure, you bring up that it's 10 frames, but it's, it's still pretty easy to catch somebody with that. Even like with grapplers, the thing that makes their command grabs hard to get is that they have to get next to you. And it's hard for them to get next to you because they run slow. But Beatrice has that fast speed. And even though she hurts herself, it is a, 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 it's just a great thing to do. It is a great thing to do. It's kind of hard not to get caught by it unless you're like expecting it. And if she decides to hit a button instead of command grab, then you get in full comboed, which is basically like describing a grappler, <laughs> right? And I think people underestimate the, the command grab along with the, the speed that she has. And she also has really good projectiles. Like I, I wrote the projectiles off early on, I'll admit, with Beatrice. But if she does get a hit on one, it's pretty easy to, to hit that 6-6 six, six L and then proceed to do her combo, which, you know, it's going to knock you pretty far towards the corner. Maybe not as good as it once was, but she can still get you to the combo. And like Anu just said there, medium fireball also frame traps me. So that's what I have there. Next. <laughs> what was that? A very reaction checky character. Yes, yes. And her and her, her two L. All she needs to uh, confirm is uh, like she just has to confirm her light, and then she's taking you all the way. <laughs> all she has to do is confirm a light. It's, it's it's pretty simple with her. She's a pretty simple character, but like like very strong at the same time. Okay. Next. Belial. Belial. Okay, right, let me let me change the way I say his name. Belial. <laughs> because apparently I like saying it the, the way the game says it is apparently the wrong way to say it, so why not just say Belial? Now, Belial has a, a crouching low that is also plus. It's it's also plus and um he has a five frame crouching, crouching jab, which is like the fastest button in the game other than his counterpart, Avatar Belial, Belial, excuse me. And one thing about the character that I didn't notice until I played him was his, how, he, how good his heavy, how good his heavy is. It's so good at like whiff punishing or even like guessing when your opponent's gonna hit a button, you're like deceptively out of range and then he can catch you and then throw his little uh, little spinny projectile and, and combo you, man. He has great mid-screen damage, great corner damage, and amazing buttons. Definitely the character that you know that's, that's, that can pretty much get wins, man. And he also has a counter, so you can't really spam projectiles against him because his counter will teleport all the way to you. And, you know, he just has a lot going for him. The command grab, the command grab too. like. It's hard, it's hard to catch that. You see him take a step forward to you, but like a lot of times if you're not expecting for you expecting it, it can catch you, man. It, it, it's, it's very strong, but you're worried about all the other pressure tools that he has, and then boom, command grab. So yeah, I think I ranted on a long belly all, belial long enough. Buttons of a non-virgin Mary. <laughs> As one way to say it. Alright, next character. This is gonna be the last one I have for S. Cagliostro. Need I say much about Cagliostro? She's a trap character. When she's putting you under pressure, she can switch between traps or using the spike that comes from the ground. So you, you, you can make the read, but a lot of times you might end up guessing. And if you hit the trap, obviously she's going to combo you. She has uh, this combo in the corner, which is kind of functions as a reset that does an absurd amount of damage. When I was doing my Cagliostro climb, <laughs> I, I found it really fun to do the combo and it did absurd amount of damage. It's like what, 60, 60, 65% off of catching you in the corner. And 
I don't know, she's just, the teleport is really good too, and her heavy, her heavy is really good too, it's like has all this, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It stays active very long, and if your opponent is swinging into you, the active frames last so long that you'll be the one getting hit. And I, when I did my Kagalio show climb, I think uh, it was somewhere around 80% when I finished with her. Because it was so easy, I wasn't even effectively using her to the best of my abilities. I didn't know all the setups and all that stuff, but it was so easy because the character was so strong. I did, I got her in a day. I think the only character that I got to master in a day because it was so easy. So great damage, great neutral. You're not really lacking for much. The only thing that you could argue is bad about her is that she do she doesn't have a DP that that uh, she has to use a meter for her DP, which is like the only bad thing about her. Everything else is just great. She's just a great character and a great fun factor too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, she's fun to play too. All right, hmm. The first in A. First in A. Uh, oof. Mm. First in A. I was a little on the on the on the fritz about this, but I think it belongs to Normaya. <laughs> Why Normaya? <laughs> because. Normaya has a great throw bait, a, th a great throw bait, two different ones, who are both good for different situations. She can get around your projectile rather easily. Hitting her lights from far will automatically go into a corner combo. She has great pressure buttons. And she can also bait out a, uh, an anti-air and, uh, and land on you and, uh, <laughs> and proceed to combo you. Now, I say the only thing the only thing that would keep a character like Namaya out of S is that her mid-screen damage isn't that great. And she's also hard to play too. Because, you know, the switching between the stances. But I, I find the character very strong because her pressure tools are, are so good and it makes it really hard to know when to hit a button. Kind of like in the same sense of like, uh, like Belle Isle. Except I think she could keep it going a little longer. But yeah, she, she has great corner damage as well. The combo does go on forever, but yeah, great corner damage. The only thing that I think is bad about her is her mid-screen damage. If they could add, do like what they did with uh, Catalina and give her more mid-screen damage, I wouldn't mind bringing her up to S. I think too many people sleep on Amaya. Maybe because, you know, you don't really see her winning that much in a tournament. But the character is obviously strong. The character is obviously strong. Okay. Next. Another character that I think is slept on. It was a lot stronger than people think. Grimner. Grimner is the, 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 the king of setups. Grimner will set you up, bro. Uh, <laughs> just, just, I swear, every time I fight a Grimner, and they put up the glyphs. Part of me just kind of freezes up. They, they, I freeze up because I'm not sure what's gonna happen next. What order are they gonna fly through the glyphs? The glyphs, and and you know I and get comboed, man. It has good has good corner damage, and when they corner damage, they also have set up after that, which is a a scary type of uh, overhead where they can immediately jump and hit you. So it's like, you, you don't really see many fast overheads like Grimner has. I'm trying to think of any other character who has something like that. I don't think, I think he might be the only one. Because he could jump down and then do his air thing through the glyphs and do an overhead on you and proceed to combo you again. I've gotten caught by it plenty of times. It's not the easiest thing to do, but somebody who really knows their character can do that, can do it pretty easily and get some pretty easy combos. He can also like catch you out mid-screen, kind of like Grand's ultimate boot with his little spinny thing, ultimate skill, and you get crazy damage off of that too, especially if you use like a Raging Strike to follow it up. And the, the, char the character is just so like so setup heavy 
but he but he's so good at catching you off guard. And I think that's um yeah, I think this character is very much slept on. Very much slept on. So these characters are my top ten. They were they weren't always my top ten. I had some things in different places. I had Vasaraga a little higher. I actually had Vasaraga in Grimmer's spot right now. <laughs> okay. Next we have Luain. Also a very tricky character with all sorts of setups as well. And like he'll catch you slipping. He will definitely catch you slipping, man. He's kind of like, uh, kind of like Grimner in a sense. If you don't, if you don't know already, if you don't know like what he's gonna do, like even if you know what's coming, he can still catch you. Not only is it like him physically tricking you, like maybe going for like a sidestep or something and catching you off guard, but there's also he can trick you visually. By like summoning the boys and like doing a super jump, and it could be kind of hard to block every time. Or if he sets out the Catalina bot and it's like hitting at your ankles, and you think you can get around it. Like like there's visual tricks and phys physical tricks. The character is 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 um he got a lot stronger from where he was in vanilla. Let me just say that, and he could kind of play keep away and get his health back. No other character can get his health back. This was another fairly easy climb for me. I think it was somewhere around 80% with me. Another another truly strong, uh, strong character that people, uh, I think people overlook. Okay. And another, <laughs> another slept on character. I'm gonna put Vasaraga. <laughs> now, I... I honestly thought, <laughs> I honestly thought that Valsaraga was a bad character. I really did think that, especially when I was first playing him. But like, I've seen the light now. I've seen the light. I have seen these amazing Valsaraga players pull off some, some crazy things. Now, people underestimate. <laughs> See, you guys, <laughs> you guys are already tripping. He, his ultimate tackle is such a good way to catch people, man. And his ultimate tackle is so good. It's so good. And like, even if he's like regularly comboing you, he has big mid-screen damage. Great corner damage. He has a command grab that goes really far. You can actually hit a light, and if they block the light, he can go into his command grab and it will connect every time, you know, assuming that you don't jump. I think the only bad things Vasaraga has going for him is his uh, ultimate grab can kind of be kind of you could kind of see that sometimes just kind of jump out of it and and punish him. So his DP move to get you off of him can be can be pretty uh, can be pretty lackluster at times, and his speed. But too many people sleep on Vasaraga, man. Too many sleep sleep on him. That that ultimate tackle that he does is just so good. It is so good. You can easily turn around a match with him just by, you know, making correct reads or even reactions and hitting that blue tackle and getting your damage. Oh, another thing. It can be unreliable sometimes comboing off of the ultimate tackle, at least for me. But like other than that, like nah. Character's great, man. <laughs> okay. Next we have Where are you Zeta? Zeta, most of us are probably aware of the damage that Zeta can do. She can catch you in a way, kinda like a ultimate tackle, but like without the armor at all. What without the uh, like the startup hit that the ultimate tackle can do. But Zeta has High ass damage, a great projectile that would one would that wish she could also delay. And if a Zeta is really good with her parries, that can also be quite the uh, quite the nuisance as well. But I think uh, people give her a little too much credit. I don't think that her mid screen is that great. Things like her her standing and crouching medium can be kind of slow compared to the buttons of other characters. 
I don't think she can open you up as easily as most other characters can. She's more as like a, a I caught you kind of character. She relies on catching you. I caught you with the parry. Or I caught you with the ultimate skill. And now you pay heavily for it. But like, I think she lacks... Or, or I caught you with a uh, with a throw bait, you know? I think she, she relies on catching people. And if you play like really patiently, like really patiently, you can get around it for the most part. But yeah, I think she might have been overestimated in the beginning. But I think she's right here is where she truly belongs. Because you, you can find success with the character. You just got to catch people to do it. Hmm. All right. How we doing? We doing good so far, guys? <laughs> okay. Another char character that has to rely on catching people. <laughs> and people also rate too high. Because, you know, maybe not know how to deal with said character. Is my favorite. My baby. To me. <laughs> Put it right behind Zeta. <laughs> now we know there's to be. Well, what I believe to be her, her strongest thing is her, her double jumps. Her double jumps, not knowing when she's going to be able to, when she's going to land or, you know, it can be kind of hard to deal with the double jumps. And, you know, she has her, her far reaching medium, uh, five medium. Which can catch people out a lot of times. But she's, um, yeah, she's just like the neutral character. She wins neutral. But the, the, the bad part about 2B, and why she's not, I wouldn't rate her higher than this, is that it's, how do I put this? You, if you know how to deal with 2B, normally you're just fine. Normally you're fine. If you know how to deal with her, you're fine. If you know that after she uses special, most of them you can backdash. If you know like after she shoots her machine guns, is are most are mostly pretty much how she ends most things. It's pretty much your turn afterwards. Or know that you can spot dodge if she does me anything meaty. It's a it's a lot of there's a lot of things in her kit that are pretty easy to punish. And if you know how to punish the said things, you won't have a a hard time dealing with her even when that thing where she um where she hovers above you and like goes for an overhead even people can like read that i'd say to be is a as a noob crushing character or not even not even say noob like not even say noob like like uh like a mid-range to new player character but like if we talking like tournament level and you know how to deal with 2B, and it's, it's, it's not really that hard. What it takes to be her is the same thing that it takes to be Zeta. And it's, and it's patience. If you have patience, you are fine fighting 2B. That's really all you need is patience. And like, yeah, yeah, nothing. I'm aware that everybody hates 2B, <laughs> but they, I, I think it's just like, just, just lack of knowing how to, to deal with her, really. She doesn't keep the pressure the same way other characters do, like through 66L. And although her our 5M does go far, it pretty much maxes the it pretty much like maxes the Z, not maxes, but like matches the same distance as uh most characters 66Ls. So you can just like throw it out all willy-nilly. It's more about catching people. It's more about catching somebody making a mistake, whiffing a button or something like that. She's not just some auto win character because if you block the five M's, this is where the patience comes into. Once you block the five M, nine times out of ten, you're getting your turn back, and it's your turn to do whatever. Because she can finish with what machine guns, a projectile, like most like most things. If you just block it out, then it's, you're gonna get your turn back. All it takes is patience. All it takes is patience that uh, a lot of people don't have. And after playing, playing um, under night two, I've noticed that a lot of people who play fighting games lack the patience to block, especially to block to, to block for long amounts of time. And it's not like she could do things that uh, sure she has a, a way to throw bait you, 
but it's a if if you read it, it's a pretty big punish because it's gonna be anti-air punish as well. Uh, or you could like beat out the back dash most of the time if you just do a crouching L. And like even if you do a crouching L and she goes for a little hover, that's gonna you're gonna still be able to block. So her throw bait isn't the best. So she has it's not as easy as one would think to open people up. I like struggle to do so myself. I really work hard to do so. And she's just not some auto win character that I think people lay her out to be. So I think she fits perfectly right there. She's she's so high up here is because she has amazing neutral. It's just that getting those hits can be the hard part. Okay. Next. Next, next, next. Next, I say. Whew. This is a hard one. Cause I say like there's like two more people in A. <laughs> Sorry, nothing is not gonna be. It's not gonna be Zoe. I think Catalina. I think those buffs to Catalina really, really rolls her up. The buffs to her her projectile. So now that she gets more mid-screen damage, man, when I use this character, when I use this character for a run, and this was after the buffs, she felt so amazing to play. She felt so amazing to play, man. These these buttons of hers, these buttons of hers are so good. And if you're like if you're like somebody like like uh who's really good at uh what's it called? Hit confirming. If you're really good at hit confirming, then like Catalina is the character for you. Like I said, great mid screen damage, great corner damage, pretty easy to use. If you can make good use of her, of her parry too, I, I guess you could call it a parry, more like a block a button or something. And then you could also find a lot of success too. Her, it, it's her buttons, man. It's her buttons that really do it for me. They're fast and they got great range. <laughs> They're fast and they got great range, man. So if you if you are just really good at neutral, if you're somebody who's like a god at Street Fighter, then then Catalina can get it done for you. Okay, next, next, next. I might want to change my my mind about something here. I might want to change my mind about something here. Or maybe I'll just keep it the way the way that I had it before. Hmm. Wait, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Did I miss a character that I wanted to put up here? No, no, I didn't miss a character. Hmm. You see, this one I struggled with. I really want to put Sores here. I really want to put Sores here. You know what? No, 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 no. Sores stays here. Because... Another character, another another catch character, another catch character, man. But the, the thing about when he catches you, <laughs> when he catches you, just like Zeta, he will explode, explode your life bar. The and 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 he can really keep you in block strings for forever, dude. He can he can keep you there. He can keep you there. And and. Uh, I say the only really bad thing about him is his speed. But you can kind of get around that because you have to get in range to hit your buttons as well. And some people might have an easier time keeping him out. But he does have his uh, his unique skill, which he, when he you know gets all buff and then explodes his chest out. Which can help you like get your turn back as well so that you can get close to people. But that throw bait is really strong. And if he hits it, <laughs> he's blowing you up. His uh, his long his his fists where he goes fall that 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 ultimate skill can also blow up your health bar. He was like really weak in vanilla, but once he got these ultimate skills, I think it skyrocketed the character. He was also an easy climb for me for the most part. I kind of struggled towards the end. But yeah, this this character, this character just just off the fact that he could blow up your health bar. And he has like really long block strings, which can be kind of, be kind of scared to throw a hit a button into. Makes him strong. Okay. 
Mm. I think I might have to change my mind about something too. Mm. Mm. I think there's one more A. This was this at first was the rest of my A, but I think I want to put one more person in A, who I think is a a really strong character that I think is uh, slept on. Lucius. <laughs> now, okay, <laughs> hear me out. L hear me out. I'll see. Cloud agrees with me. Hear me out, man. This dude has some absurdly good buttons. They may not be as plus as other people, but they have the range to them. And all of his skills, all of his skills are super strong. It's just the long cooldowns. I think if you play Lucius in a way where you can keep getting the uh, his his unique meter up where his cooldowns go down oh, like over over time over time you just get stronger and stronger and stronger and I, I not only do I like the concept but I think it works for him I think where most where most Lucius is uh, fail is trying to work on getting that meter up by going into the the unique stance and the unique stance will make it build up a lot, so you just kind of dare people to uh, to come at you. But yeah, his he has really good block strings because it's hard to know when to hit a button because he reaches so far and his block strings are long, so he could like stop. It kind of like in a way of Siegfried, right? Instead of like stopping his uh completing his whole block string, he can run up to you with a a six six L and like start the whole process over. Which I think is a really strong thing, and I think I think he's another character who slept on. I think he's another character who slept on, man. And I think if they buff him, they'll probably just buff the cooldown part aspect of him, because I think everything else about him is already great. He, he, he even has a throw bait. I think it's one of the on the one of the worst. It's on a, it's a pretty pretty not a great throw bait, since he can be attacked through it. Because I think like once he like reappears, you can just hit him out of it. Assuming that you see it coming, but like other than that everything else is pretty good He has a great anti-air very high reaching and Like pretty much everything he does goes long range man He really truly feels like a boss character All right moving on to B Moving on to B um, Dota would probably be upset about this but at the beginning of B, I'm gonna put Zoe. Zoe, <laughs> Zoe's Zoe's throw bait is so strong. Not only does she get great damage from jumping up and using her ultimate lightning, but she can free. And not only does that give you great damage, but like if you block it, it's still her turn. And let's not forget about the dragon pro um or dragon projectiles. They go far. They're pretty fast. She gets combos with them, and it, and it's kind of a good tool to keep pressure. Although you can spot dodge in the corner if she's doing like the uh, the the dragon thing that kind of pops you up, and you can kind of get your turn up that way. But um, yeah, she has great damage, man. She has great damage and uh, great neutral through the uh, through the dragons, and uh, her crouching medium is pretty good. I think her overhead can be pretty bad at times because it looks like she's off the ground but she's actually still grounded so she can get grabbed out of it which I think is, is it pretty much sucks but you you can land it obviously you can land it but she like she has setups too not only does she have a throw base she has like pretty good setups too with the lightning so she catches you in the corner and she can just let it fall down if you do an auto combo into a low or a high and can combo you afterwards I think she's another slept on character Probably because people don't play her as much, but um, yeah, I'm not saying that like they can't buff her or anything. I wouldn't be upset if they threw buffs Zoe's way. But yeah, I think she's uh, she's queen of the B tier. Next, next, I'm gonna do Vera. Vera's next because uh. She's great at maintaining pressure. The only problem with that maintenance of the pressure is that, like, if you see it coming, you can pretty much stop it. 
but I really like her buttons. I think she has great buttons and her setups off of the her down down special. You could like sneak in a grab or you know get a combo or like even when she knocks you down and she summons it, she could do a, like a running low, and then and then like the 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 butterfly thing will will show up and hit you and she could combo afterwards. She has some pretty good setups. She has great buttons and great setups, and she has tools of keeping her pressure. And if you think she's gonna do the thing, the thing where she jumps up and hits you, and it's still her turn, she could do something else, and that will catch you instead. So it's kind of a guessing game there too. And you know when Vera's when uh, <laughs> when Vera like summon uh, what's it called get does her what's the what's the word for it? We'll just call it her transformation. When she does her transformation. She gets a whole lot better, and then you could do some more confusing things, like use the install. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Install was the word I was looking for. And she does a little stabby stab. She can now like dash up towards you, and she can you know catch you out that way. Or she could do the thing where she flips up into the sky and all that. You know, once she does that, she moves up to uh, she moves up to like here. You know, <laughs> when she gets her install, she moves up. So if like a Vera is like really good at like getting her install. You know, there's different ways she can get her grab. Also, she can get the grab off of the butterfly setup as well. So, if she can get that, then it, um, effectively it moves her up in the tier list, man. So get that early and get a win, man. Okay. Next. I'm caught between two different characters. I'm caught between two different, but I'll just I'll just put the one. Charlotta. Charlotta, we all know it. <laughs> Best jump in the game. Best jump in the game. She's up and down before you even know it. She, um, <laughs> the chinchilla. <laughs> She's just Charlotta, man. And, and I'm not sure if everybody knows this, but her corner damage can be absolutely absurd. If she gets her, her Blanca ball, her ultimate skill Blanca ball, and it hits you towards the corner, and then she does it, a second time and then hits you into a raging uh, raging strike not to uh, not the follow-up but just the beginning uh, portion and then does some hits into her her skills she can do around 75% of your health <laughs> just off of that so if she was to run up to you and backdash and you were to whiff a grab and she went to ultimate skill you're losing around 70 75% of your health it's absurd her damage is crazy and if she got a command grab, her command grab in the corner, which can be ducked, so you know it's a little dangerous to throw out. But if you hit it, she also gets similar damage, like 70, 60, 70, 65 area. We'll say 75 to 65. Also huge damage, man. So if you are not careful around this character, she will blow you up. And like, man, man must I say the jump again? <laughs> I say that the really bad part about her is um. It's not the easiest to get in on her and you know doing her mid-screen combo does put like your most important buttons on cooldown especially if you're gonna do a corner combo so a lot of times you might find yourself having to take your time with Shalada. her uh 2h isn't the best i could argue that it's the worst but you know she also has her her parry which can make up for that the only problem if is uh somebody can do an empty jump and then combo you afterwards but yeah, the best thing about her is her jump and her corner damage, assuming she reached uh, the right conditions, man. Ankle Biter is a pretty accurate assessment for her because it kind of feels like that, like she's swarming at you, she's tiny, and it just kind of works. It just kind of works. Next. Percy. Now, as of... Uh, as of doing this video here, Percival <laughs> is currently in the top six at Evo, and now he's he's kind of similar like Siegfried. We could say Siegfried is the uh, a better version of him, but he has some things that Siegfried doesn't, like his long reaching heavy, a heavy that's easy. That's easy to confirm off of into his little uh, thing where he dashes at you and does his little backstab thing. And his blue, his <laughs> his blue ultimate skill is probably one, is one of the best. I won't say it's the best, but his blue ultimate skill where he makes the the ground burn, 
is so strong, man. It's, it's one of the best ones because if you hit it on somebody, you can combo them. So especially good in the corner. And if they block it, then you know they're, they're, you're still swinging and they're still kind of stuck in your flames. Now you can attack and then do your your slow projectile. And then since it's so slow, by the time it reaches them, and a lot of instances it's still your turn. So his pressure is good. His his light is good too. It goes really far. So if you're really good at punishing people, same thing I would say with like Beatrice. If you're really good at punishing somebody with a light, like a whiff punish or something, you can get a lot from that. Because he could go into his dash and then sweep your legs and then get a corner combo. But the character is strong, man. If if your character is strong, if you can if you have the patience to use him, DP is also good too. If you have the if you if you can play patiently and just kind of wait your opponent out and let them make the mistakes. You will thrive on this character, man. You absolutely thrive. And did I say the DP is great? What else moves does he have? Oh yeah, he has his command grab in the corner. Which I thought was too slow to use on people, but <laughs> somehow I managed to get caught by it all the time. And then boom, free corner combo. It might be scaled, but a corner combo is a corner combo. And you know, he also, since the buffs, has new combo roots. And he can and if he ever uses the move where he gets nine charges and he hits you and unleashes all nine charges into you it's like doing an ssba <laughs> essentially so yeah personal was a good character man underrated in my uh, in my opinion next 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 we have the character who is not me <laughs> called gran our protagonist i mean i guess you could call jeter a uh, uh, protagonist but i mean it's called Grand Blue, not Jita Blue, so <laughs> we can say Grand is a protagonist. Now, I'm not a fan of this character, but he does have plenty of good things about him. He has a, a great block string, great block string with some crouching S's, not crouching S's, but crouching M's. I'm thinking Guilty Gear for a second, my bad. So crouching M's, he could do two times, then to a standing one. So, you know, he could kind of mix that up and maybe run in on you and start his pressure all over again. Kind of like how our Narmaya or our Lucius does it. Let's not forget about Boot. If he catches you, if he catches you with Boot, you know, you're getting wall comboed. Or if, you know, assuming you're in the corner. Or his ultimate Boot, which he can, like, combo you in the middle of the screen. The bad part about that is, um, it's a negative six. So you can be punished if you whiff it. Not whiff it, but if, if, if it's blocked. But, um, yeah, he's a pretty well-rounded character. Pretty well-rounded character, man. Has a, has a pretty good DP. I mean, I don't know. I think they should give him a fourth, a fourth skill. He only has three. I think they should give him a fourth. I mean, his mid-screen damage isn't that bad. His corner damage is great. And, um, yeah, he's, he's just lesser Jita, really. He's just lesser Jita, man. Okay, that's enough about Grand. We talked too much about Grand. <laughs> Next, another character I think is heavily slept on. Very. <laughs> Where do I begin? So, <laughs> a lot of a lot of people will think that Fairy's bad and maybe put her in like bottom five or something, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. She has her setups. And I don't think you can really be a really bad character if you have have setups, which you can mix people off of. And, you know, she play, she plays a slow game. If you play Fairy, the game, the, the match is usually going to take a long time. But, man, <laughs> kind of running out of things to say about Fairy. But, like, she's a zoner, right? A zoner can only be so good. Because if you play a zoner, this is going to be my Matera argument as well, so... If you play a zoner well, <laughs> normally you're going to win. If you know, if you keep people out so good, and you just make all, make so many right reads, then like, 9 times out of 10, you're going to win. It's just the zoner game out of, um... This is zoning out of, like, any other fighting game, man. So if you got the good reads, you win with Fairy. Uh, she does have a throw bait. But doesn't always go into combo, unfortunately. Maybe if they're gonna buffer, maybe that would be a nice thing that she does a throw base, she can immediately go into combo afterwards. But um <laughs> I 
<laughs> I don't run out of things to say about Fairy, man. I think a bad thing about her is um her slow punch. Her slow, our, sl our, our slow standing light. But like Gigi, Gigi's really strong. It's kind of like a sense of like um like screen control, really, like a nice little ski uh, screen control. Because like you can't always run past it, and if you try to jump as she throws it, she could uh Gigi will activate under you and you'll be blocking it but then she could like hit you anyways because you're technically in the air um her anti-air medium is pretty good because she can hit me a close medium if you try to like cross her but um yeah man i i think <laughs> i think skilled fairies are absolutely terrifying it's just another character that can seem bad at first but like if you possess like like really really good skill in the in fighting games like you you will be successful with same thing with Vasaraga really and uh, I think that's it for B tier I think that's my B team hmm okay the beginning of C Uno a character that's uh, I keep saying characters are slept on. I feel like I just keep repeating the same thing, but he slept on. <laughs> he slept on. Will this be for YouTube? Yes. Yes. Uno is, is definitely underrated. He has some really good buttons, man. And he has an actual like really good zoning game. And he also has a throw bait that he can combo into afterwards. And um yeah, his combo damage is not bad. He can hit you with the with the ultimate projectile like three times in a row. So if you need to finish something, you finish off a round, and you just happen to catch somebody with your ultimate skill, you can potentially keep blowing them up. But yeah, great buttons, man. He's he's a great zoner. <laughs> he's a great zoner. Doesn't really have much in like the setup type of area, but he uh, he he plays a great game of keep away. And even if some you're in the air and somebody thinks they caught you, you have a couple of options that you can get away with to like, you know, alter your, your jump path in a way. I would say the the downside of this character, why I wouldn't put him B, is because the parry can be can be unreliable. Especially if people want to just keep grabbing at you. You really don't have a way to get them off of you. The pat the pat the parry can be a little uh it's not very satisfying to use. See, like, like Seox is a uh, parry. If you see it, sure, you could punish it, but, like, there is a window there, and you can miss that window. But with, with Uno, the, the window's not very hard to miss. And you know what? I'm not even sure if it parries lows. I, I can't remember. But, yeah, I just remember not liking the parry. Although, funnily enough, I say all these things, but, um... But uh, I did really good with him when I did, did my master run. I, I haven't said this, but I've done a, I've gotten every, every character to master. So I would say that he was one of my easier clients, but it could have been because most people don't play him and don't know how to stop him, which could have been a thing. But yeah, he was one of my easier runs and one of my more enjoyable runs. I guess another downside you could say is uh, people find him boring. So you could say he's boring and that could be a downside, but I mean. It is what it is. You you play who you enjoy. You play who you enjoy, man. Next. Do I want to switch anything here? Nah, nah, nah. Uh, this guy. This guy right here. Uh, he, he has a great ranged game, I would say. Maybe not ranged. Maybe more like... I, I guess you could say ranged. I mean, he's not the craziest up close, but like in that mid range far away, he has a bunch of options. He's, um, wasn't my favorite to play, but I did find that he does have a cool combo if you uh, do a throw bait with the ultimate skill, which takes you pretty far into the corner, further than I thought at first. So I think his, his throw bait game, game is pretty good, especially if, uh, if it leads to the corner. And uh, the fact that he has a, air, uh, a dive from the sky that leaves him plus, um, I think I think the light version is negative one, if I'm correct. But the the other ones are all are all plus, so we can just kind of keep it going. I think he has a pretty good air game, 
And his anti-air game is like really easy because you can do the same combo off of a... Um, not only does it go high, but you can do the same combo if they're... Uh, if it's a counter hit or not. Because you do the, uh, the little thing, the, uh, the little warp thing that pulls you in. So yeah, you get some, some pretty good damage off of him. I mean, I don't think he's like the most impressive character, but like you could definitely get wins with him. His buttons are pretty good too. I really like his, uh, his crouching medium. I thought that was a really strong button. And his uh, heavy, if you could confirm it, can go into the portal, which you could get a combo. So you just kind of bring them over to you and proceed to combo you. But yeah, I don't think he's the, the best of characters. That's why I got him down here on C. But he, he, he does have winning potential. I mean, like, obviously all the characters have winning potential. But I just don't really see anything that, that impressive about him. Next. Hmm. I got two different options here. I got two different options here. You know what? I'm gonna go Ladiva. Ladiva, I mean, what can I say, man? What can I say about Ladiva? <laughs> Ladiva is your uh, your standard uh, grappler. Except uh, a really good about thing about Ladiva is when she's doing her combos, there is plenty of of um, of corner carry there. There is plenty of corner carry. Um, you, you're just playing. You're, you're basically just playing the grappler game, really. Either you do you, you guess grab and get grabbed. I mean, and like not, and you know, maybe you guess a uh, strike and you get grabbed, and then you know you you take take the the bit amount of damage that you get from the grab, or you eat a big ass combo. I mean, I, I wish Ladiva's buttons maybe a little better. I mean, they're not terrible, but I I would like Ladiva's buttons to be better. But I think. Ladiva's in a good spot for a grappler. If I was to give Ladiva anything, it would be more damage on the on the grab. I think the 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 Ladiva's grabs doing more damage would make the character a whole lot better. But like, do we really want grapplers to be better? Because amazing grapplers in fighting games is a terrifying thing, and I'm not sure if people would really want to go through that and playing that kind of. Uh, that kind of uh, grab or big combo type of game, but I think I think it would be fair. I'm not sure how much more damage. I think it would be fair if Ladiva had more damage on her grabs. But I think you can still you you can still win a tournament with Ladiva, man. You just you just technically playing the you're playing the grapple game. They're playing the grapple games like she's not as mobile. I think in a, in a big issue, a big issue with. Uh, with with her is her her clothesline i don't like that y you can duck it i i don't i don't like that you can duck it but i'm not sure if i would want to change that because it might make her too oppressive because then she'll just you'll be forced to block it or if you don't you know spot dodge it and then she'll be right on you for the uh for the 50 50. so um yeah oh and the and the dp move is that it can also be grabbed. Sure, it's invulnerable to damage, but it can also be grabbed, which is can be pretty, pretty bad at times. You have to have a good read to hit that. But like all in all, I think Ladiva is in a good spot. You know, at least for a grappler in the game. But um, could be better. I think I think Ladiva is Ladiva deserves some more some more damage on her grabs. Next. Terra. <laughs> Same thing as I was saying with Fairy. She has. I mean, Matera kind of. I mean, I guess you could call them setups, right? She has her setups, and um, it's really just playing the zoner game, really. If you're the better player and you're just really good at zoning, then you're gonna win. If not, then you then you lose. I mean, it all comes down to is it, like zoners are really skill based, man. If you make the right reads and reactions, you win. And if you don't, you suffer for it. I don't know what else to say much about zoners. I mean, that's just the game they play. You can't make them too strong. If you make them too strong where they're effective everywhere, then that creates a, a, a problem for the game. But if um, but if you play her correctly, man, you'll be a monster. You'll be an absolute monster. Like, all the potential is there. 
It's just that the to potentially play her well is just hard to do. It's just difficult to do. But yeah, I like her little hop, where she can like go above you. You do some some things right there. Um, the butterflies, you know, they they also maintain a lot of pressure. It makes it hard to get in on her. Her crouching medium. I think her crouching medium is probably one of the best things about her. Is because like if you're running towards her, let's say you're running and you get to that spot, that area where you can either jump and actually make contact, or you can just six six L. And that area when you're trying to get close to her, she could do a two M, which would stop you right in your tracks. You probably get hit. And if that whiffs because you jumped, she has enough time to anti air you. Sure, the hop can be 2 h but you're not going to be able to see that every time. Especially if you're not doing it at obvious times, you know? And if a Matera is abusing the hops, then they're obviously not a good Matera in the first place. <laughs> Alright. My last C is going to be my last C is Anila. Now, I know she got buffed. I know she got buffed. And I know that she's a little stronger now. She has better mid-screen damage. But, like, I'm still not impressed by her, man. I just don't think, um... I just don't think she's that great. She does have her projectile that's not that hard to get around. The ultimate sheeps are really good, too. Especially for chip damage. And she has a long-range sweep, which you can't really punish like at all unless she's doing it like right in your face but even then you could cancel it but um i i don't know what to do to fix her i don't i just can't feel like she's strong she just doesn't feel like a threat to me as much as like the other characters especially the ones that i put above her like her mid screen damage did get better and you know, with the ultimate sheep and all that although the ultimate sheep is negative six on block so you you can punish it but um yeah man I, I think I think she she struggles a bit and I think she might need a little bit more what that more is I don't know but I think she could use a little a little something more okay Net first on the D tier is uh, uh, there we go avatar Billion. Now the the character is clearly clearly strong, like stupid amounts of strong, but I he was my last run, and I did struggle a bit, and I felt I could feel the power of the character, but like when you are winning so hard, <laughs> you take a look at your health bar, you're like health bar, what, what what are you doing? And it's just ticking down, ticking down. It's like you're both getting comboed at the same time. It's like you're both getting combo at the same time, man. It's like if you win with this character, you gotta win hard. <laughs> and you can't lose your turn. And like not only does doing combos like and losing your health like bad, even if you're like the one winning, but imagine if you're losing. If you're losing, you gotta make decisions on like how much health you wanna lose. Do you wanna lose enough to you don't wanna lose enough till you can just die to a poke. But you're definitely gonna lose enough to where you're gonna die to the next combo. So you really got to make some serious decisions. But the, the great thing about him is <laughs> he can absolutely obliterate you. The character can practically two touch you. So, you know, if you're playing the game right with him, then you like you win. But if not, it goes like really. It's, it's He's a snowball character. Like, I don't know if you play like MOBAs or anything, but like, let's say you played uh, League of Legends, right? And there's a character called Aatrox. The original Aatrox. The character was pretty much feast or famine. If you lost, then you like you're never coming back. <laughs> you're never coming back. From the, you 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 screwed your team. You can't lose your lane. You gotta win. <laughs> it's feast or famine. You gotta start off winning with Avatar Belly. It's so hard to come back. Because if it, if you if you like get rid of all your health, then like what are you gonna do? You don't want to get chipped out or die to some stray hit or something. You gotta be like you got. You gotta play him carefully, and you gotta play him correctly. And it's so easy not to. So let's say you wanna jump up his little uh, command stance, and you wanna go for the grab. What if you got anti-aired? 
How much health are you using on, on that anti-air? And then let's say you got your turn back and then you did a full combo. Now your health is like <laughs> so low that you will die to the next combo. No matter what character is doing the combo. Was if they use raging strikes, you're dead. Or if they anti-air the other one. Or let's say they, uh, if you use beam and they just run past it. Like you probably shouldn't do that if they're close enough to do that. But still, like <laughs> you really can't make mistakes. You have if you're gonna be successful with this character, you have to be a really good fighting game player, bro. You just you just have to be. There's no, there's there's, there's you just have to be. You just have to be. Next, Eustace. Definitely a character that I think needs buffs. Definitely, I think there's no way around it. I really want this character to have buffs. I really do. He does, um, he does, I, I, my biggest issue is his, his, his corner damage, man. I don't like his corner da damage too much. It can be better if you have, uh, if you attach that bomb to them. It can be a whole lot better. But that's not, like, the easiest thing to get a hit off of. It, it's just not. Like, I did a lot of labbing with the dude, but it's not the easiest. But, I mean, he does have his ways of, like, uh, keeping you blocking or keeping you guessing because he does have that stance that he can go to but like other people have situations they can create like that and his feels a little lackluster I think Eustace could use a little love his zoning is pretty good the thing where he bounces the balls off and uh, he could also just kinda shoot through everything with his uh, if he holds down his, uh, his gun button and you know he does have some good range on his normals but I still Still, I think he has a he, de he definitely has potential to win a lot of matches. It's just he just feels lackluster compared to the to the rest of the cast. I don't think they should overbuff him. I just think he just needs a, a little bit of something. I don't know what that something is, but I think he just needs a, a little bit of something, man. He just does. Next, we have hmm, UL. <laughs> no, UL is not bottom one. <laughs> UL is second to bottom one. Now, UL is capable of doing good corner damage or, or great corner damage, right? But it requires you to hit a certain button. Now, you can get that you hit that you get that out of your stance doing your medium out of the stance. But it's kind of easy to wait that out. Because uh, 9 times out of 10, when a UL does her little flip out of that stance, they're getting out of their stance. So if you are if you use patience and just block while she's in stance, then usually you're good. And if you're scared of a grab, just eat the grab. Eat the grab and um, you'll be fine, man. Sure, she can give you a low hit out of the stance and then she can flip over the low. But like with patience, man, you'll you'll be fine with uh, fine with her. I mean, she has great anti-air. Um, Capability. She has good anti-air damage out of her stance, or or normally, you know, mid-screen is is, pre, is pretty whack. It's pretty whack. I I think yeah. I think uh, um same way they buff Catalina. I think they need to give her something that she can give her uh, a better mid-screen without having to use like uh, most of your meter. And um, yeah, she's the second character I want to main. I'll admit that. But like you could really feel like how lackluster she is, man. You just really feel it. She she's more of a a, tri a character that's meant to trick you, but like she doesn't know where as good as like uh like Lil Wayne up here. That character could trick the shit out of you, but like she's supposed to be a tricky character as well, you know, with the with the hop backs and all that and going into stance. But like even if you land certain things in stance, unless you're, li you're landing that flip kick. Then you're not really getting that crazy amount of damage, man. I think a damage is an issue for her. She has good rushdown. She she she's like the rushdown character, but still feels lackluster at rushing down. If you understand what I'm saying, like if a UL is close to me, I'm like, oh, what are you gonna do, really? Like her 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 corner combo is not gonna do that much damage compared to other characters, unless she starts off with her flip kick. But like, if I'm more scared if like a, if a Jita's on me, right? I'm more scared of that, or a Siegfried, or a Seox, or a Beatrice, or a Belial, or a Cagli. 
I know I'm just reading in order. Or Normaya! <laughs> Those characters are terrifying up close. But UL, it seems like to to be up close is kind of her thing, but she's not as terrifying. Because you know you know what not to get hit by. And so long as you don't get hit by that, then you won't be eat that much damage. Eventually you'll get your turn back, even if you just eat a regular corner combo. Eventually you'll get your, your turn back and then you know you can give her the business. All right, and lastly, we have Vayne. <laughs> Vayne, I'm not gonna say he's a terrible character. I know I put him last. And I, and I honestly, I really didn't want to. I know, I'll, I've heard a lot of people say he's the bottom character and I really didn't want to. I really wanted to just be wrong, but just when I, when I just think about it, and I just think about what all the other characters can do, it's hard not to put him at the bottom. So he has a pretty good, cool game plan, you know, hit people with some far distance things with, you know, those big swings and, you know, put the shield in front of you to block you from damage. Like, the, I, I like the concept and the concept does work and it kind of like, he's kind of like he's daring you to jump and when you do jump, he can blow up your health bar, but he just, he just doesn't seem great, man. He doesn't feel great. I feel like if you were gonna win a tournament with this character, you're like you would struggle so hard. You would struggle so hard, man. And like it's not like he has bad corner damage and he has great anti-air damage. His buttons aren't the worst. I think his uh his uh, his unique can be a little on the useless side. It's not the worst, but I mean it can be kind of dangerous to throw that out and you don't really get a huge reward for landing it. But I don't know what they could do to uh, make this character better. Maybe make him faster. Maybe make his uh, buttons come out a little faster. Maybe give him a more proper throw bait. Because if he whiffs his throw bait, he can be um, punished for it pretty uh, heavily. But yeah. I'm not saying this is a character that was just like really, really bad. It's just... I just think all the other characters are just better than him. Yeah. Yeah, that's Vayne, boys. <laughs> that's Vayne. That's my tier list. <laughs> so, <laughs> is there anybody who agrees with my tier list? I, I saw <laughs> I saw at the corner of my eye a lot of people disagreeing with me, but is there anybody who agrees with me? Or even close to agreement with me? The other two are not on the list. I don't know. I know this is Happy, who's uh, buffed up, <laughs> and I don't know who this is. I don't know who this girl is. I don't. I don't know who she is. They're just there. <laughs> this was just the most updated uh, tier list that I could find with all the icons on it. <laughs> She's top tier. Facts. <laughs> she win. Oh, oh! I thought I got frozen for a second. She wins, bro. She wins. <laughs> She's a character that sneaks. Character that sneaks into your matches and like. Makes the other person start losing. But yeah, there there are some people who I was like a little iffy about. Like I could easily like mix up. Uh, I could easily switch around like uh, Beatrice and Belial. That's an easy. That's an easy one to switch around. Even like switch around Zeta and Vasaraga, or even Grimner and Narmaya. I think those characters are like are like really close to each other. I could easily switch those ones around. I initially had uh, Lu Lu Lucius and B tier, but I think he's better than that. I think he's definitely better than that. Especially since like a part of me wants to start playing him again too. No, see, I'm, I'm not saying UL's bad, bro. It's just like <laughs> it's just that most all the other characters are, are freaking better than her. <laughs> Have you seen her mid screen damage? Like you get straight hit into her thing where she dashes into you. It's like it's peanuts. That's it's literally a near block string. Near you block two of Nier's abilities, and that's how much UL does mid screen. Unless you like you doing your 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 EX, and if you do the EX, then you won't have it for a corner combo. Assuming you gain that, you know. You send the correct, the correct one. Bruh! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out! Nah, bro. Uh, <laughs> this this can't be allowed to happen. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold on, bro. 
Uh, let me show you this man's tier list, bro. Let me show you this man's tier list. <laughs> You got two booty at the top, bro. Hell nah. <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> Above near. Let me see who else, man. You got some cooler looking pictures, don't you? Oh, you got Siegfried, then uh, Sayox, Jita. Oh nah, man. You 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 putting Beatrice way too low, bro. And you putting Zoe way too high. <laughs> Beatrice. Beatrice is too low and Zoe's too high. <laughs>